Accused of causing a deadly wrong way crash on I-95 faced a judge today. Police say the Rhode Island man was drunk when he plowed his car into a car carrying seven women in Old Lyme. News 8's Tina Detail has the latest. Nearly eight months after this fatal accident, the man police say is responsible for taking three lives makes his first appearance in court. 52-year-old Frank Sundstrom appeared in court in a wheelchair. Since the December 2012 accident, in which he's accused of being a wrong-way drunk driver, he has undergone many surgeries. The women he reportedly hit were all killed. 63-year-old Barbara Prado of East Haven, her 90-year-old mother Marjorie Minori of North Haven, and their friend, 71-year-old Tamara Nolan of Branford. They were wonderful, you know, amazing three women that they didn't deserve um, for anything like this to happen to them. The Warwick, Rhode Island man's wife, Paula, his mother and brother were also in court. He and his family are devastated over this, uh, especially for the families of the victims. Sundstrom's attorney told the court about his client's financial and medical problems with the hopes of keeping his bond lower. The judge set it at $750,000. I honestly could care less. He's out breathing. I really can care less what his ailments are. I, um, he, he actually means nothing to me. I lost my whole life. Family members also spoke inside court, which doesn't usually happen during an arraignment. I just wanted the court to know that she was a beautiful, beautiful person. If Sundstrom makes bond, he has been ordered not to drive, not to drink alcohol, and to undergo intensive supervision. Unfortunately, our family didn't get a chance to come home and recuperate. Uh, they didn't get an opportunity to come back from that accident. Because Sundstrom is a Rhode Island resident, the state can't suspend his license and can't monitor him with a GPS unit if he is released. In the New London Newsroom at the Day, Tina Detell, News 8.